LancasterOhio.tv presents the Mid-State League Game of the Week, where Fairfield County High School athletes show their drive to succeed and their commitment to teamwork. This broadcast is a community service of Fairfield Media, high school media students and volunteers working hard to bring you the best in Mid-State League sports. Turn it on, crank it up. It's time for the MSL on LSM. From Grove City Christian School in Grove City, Ohio. Hi again, everybody. Jack Davidson along with Andrew Gherkin and the FCA media team. Tonight, it is the first game of the Mid-State League Cardinal campaign for both schools. Both schools come in tonight with a record of 2-3. and three. FCA coached by first-year coach B.J. Queen and Grove City Christian coached by Trevor Littleton. Andrew, what's the spirit of the school now that this is actually the, the second season starting out for, the, for, for both teams, but especially for FCA, because this is the, the kickoff for the Mid-State League Cardinal campaign? It, it's, it's definitely a, a thought process of we need to prove ourselves early in the, in the season, coming up against these Mid-State teams, uh, Burn Union, Fayetteville Perry, Fisher Catholic, all these other teams, they need to be able to... Fairfield Christian wants to uh, show them that they have pow prowess and power in them, and uh, Grove City's doing the exact same thing, and this is obviously a heated game. Look forward to every year. The two rivals are always put on a good show, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the uh, the momentum and the, uh, the energy flows through both teams, especially with the first game for uh, Mid-State League Cardinal. Last week, FCA defeated Open Door by a score of 62 to 24. Grove City Christian School defeated Fayetteville Perry by a score of 35 to 14. Other games tonight around Fairfield County, particularly Mid-State League Cardinal Division. Harvest Prep, they're one and four at Fisher with a record 0 and 5. Burn Union takes on Millersport. Both teams have a record of 0 and 5. Then other games around Fairfield County, uh, Hilliard Dar Darby at Canal Winchester, Lancaster's at Groveport, Bloom Carroll's at Logan Elm, Hamilton Township Christmas travels to Liberty Christmas. Union, Amanda Clear Creek is at Taze Valley, and Fairfield Union is at Circleville. FCA will be kicking off. They're dressed in the road whites with the red numerals and trim and red pants. And Grove City Christian in the black jerseys with the blue numerals. 12 minutes on the clock. Here's the approach and we're underway. Mid-State League Cardinal Division on LSN. Trent Roberts on the return. Trent Roberts on the return. Tr takes it out to the 25 and it'll be first and 10 for Grove City Christian. At quarterback number 11, Nate High. Give to the first back through. That is Casey Stauffer. Gain of one will be second and nine on the 26. Jordan Haywood on the carry. No gain. I'll bring up third and nine on the 26. And props to uh, Fairfield Christian's very large D line. Good job by Austin Mosley taking it to uh, taking it to Grove City and uh, stopping down that run. 
shutting down the run. High now in the shotgun. Throws incomplete. We'll bring up a punting situation for Grove City Christian. FCA a good three and out for the defense. Fairfield Christian getting a good a good uh, a good stab at it here early. They kind of have the uh, the momentum early on, but we'll see how Grove City retaliates. Craig Collins, Austin Green, and I believe Ben Tobin back there in triple safety for the Knights. Nice driving kick. Craig Collins gets it to the 47 yard line. First Craig and Collins 10 for the Knights. On the return, Jordan Haywood on the tackle. Now, personally, I've only seen one Fairfield Christian game up to this point. Last year. That's one more than me. Well, yes, and you and I both. Well, that's because you were at homecoming and we were covering another game. You took the night off. <laughs> we were working. Yeah. Uh, we, we knew that they ran that uh, run first, ask questions later offense, so I'm interested to see more of how this works. Jeremiah Lee. Good gain on first down. Number eight, Lane Thoman. Lane Thoman on the carry. Made by Trey Roberts. Gain of seven on the play. Second so it'll three. be second and three. The one game, the one homecoming game that I did watch, there were, they did a lot of uh, wide receiver motion handoffs in the back. Thoman in motion. Looks like that'll be first down yardage and more for Caleb Waltz, my partner on the basketball bro broadcast last year. I really think there was a missed penalty there. No hit after the whistle, but horse collar and maybe a face mask, but someone was getting dragged and thrown after the whistle. Lee over center, balls at the 40. First and 10 for the Knights. Tolman around left end. Finds a seam down the sideline. Will be close to a first down. Another good run by Tolman. That quick jab and uh, jab cut the there. Good yardage there for uh, Tolman. Knights driving, first and 10 on the Eagle 30. Lee give to Caleb Walds and he'll hit the 27. Gain of three, it'll be second and seven. Still seems like there's a lot of run, run, act, run play here. Maybe a little bit more of a, the coach Dob, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type play, type of uh, offense. Austin Beigel split wide to the left, top of the screen. Then Tobin powers his way inside the 15. Actually, they're gonna mark it at the 16. He stepped out of bounds. Preseason, I asked uh, I asked myself, how is Ben Tobin going to be a factor not starting at the, uh, the tailback position? And you see it right there. The, even the wide, receiver, the wide receiver handoffs in the backfield are uh, incredibly effective with both Lane Tobin and uh, Ben or Lane Lane Toman and Ben Tobin. It's easy for you to say. Lee over center. Ben Tobin to the five. Ben Tobin, the ball carrier. That should move the chains. And it'll be first and goal now for the Knights. 
good looking good. drive here. First uh, first drive of the ball game. Very good the drives. They seem to have this uh, mental uh, mental these mental issues that they had in previous games kind of shut down, and they're moving the ball well. Caleb Waltz for the Knights touchdown. So the Knights strike first, a good run. Ducks his, uh, Caleb ducks his shoulder and uh, advances forward and works out well for him. Five yard one run for Wolves and on now for the point after. I think that's uh, Junior Collins, isn't it? It is. Up and good. Timeout on the field, 8.23 to go. First quarter of play. Knights take an early 7-0 lead on the Mid-State League Game of the Week on LSN. So with this break in the action, we would like to remind you about the lard butt year. Uh, what? what are we reminding them of? The lawn butler. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Yard and landscape services. They are proud to serve Central Ohio communities with a full array of services designed to enhance any landscape. The Yard Butler is scheduling fall cleanups with affordable packages, and they can be contacted at 740-808-2580 or online at ohioyardbutler.com. Collins will tee the ball up at the 40. Christian Academy scoring drive was 2 minutes, 20 seconds, 53 yards in total. Back deep for Grove City Christian. Is Trey Roberts standing at the seven? Collins puts the boot into the ball and another good kick. And Trey Roberts. Will get the ball to uh, about the 10 yard line. Maybe the 11 first and 10 for the Eagles. Gang tackled there by, as uh, Steve Rao would put it, a castle of Knights. High the quarterback. Round right in, that is Jordan Haywood. That was another close call there. Po I mean, I, I don't know that I would call it, but there's a possibility of maybe a horse collar there. It's that little sliding over around the top of the shoulder pads and the whip tackle. Second and a long two. Correction, 18 yard line. Second and three. High. Cut down. Great play there. By the night defender, Austin Green. With the ball carrier, tripped up by number 22, Austin Green. So Haywood will Austin lose yardage on that play. It'll be Austin third and 15. six on the 15. 7.15 to go, first quarter of play. Grove City's got to get at least one good play here in this drive if they want to have any anything to uh, drive them. Beautiful night for football here. Game time temperature 71 degrees. Winds out of the northeast at about two miles per hour. High over the middle, and that's a little bit high. So the Eagles will punt it away again for the second time of the night. The Knights should get good field position here. The key word there is should, though. I would not put it up to Grove City to get a fairly good, uh, fairly good stop if they can. They are known to be quite the runners. Driving kick. Rockets a 50, breaks a tackle. Dropped at the 41. And Austin Green just got laid out there. Pointed back at Junior Collins, hey, telling him, hey, you got this reception. He turns around, gets ready to block, and just gets completely laid out. That was Austin Green, my apologies. 
first game of the season for me for the Knights. I got to learn a whole new set of numbers. Hey, join the club. I'm clueless as well. I'm used to number 75 being my son. Yeah, that's not your son. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's up in Wisconsin now. Oh, yeah. Lee over center. Then Tobin will hit the 35-yard line. Good first first down gain for the Knights. It's Tobin, the ball carrier. Grab so Circleville strikes five. first over at uh, Fairfield and Union, taking an early 7-0 lead game after a 60-yard touchdown run. Austin Beigel, wide right. Lee. Ben Tobin up the gut. And it'll be third and short. I think we, that's coming back. There probably was a holding on the Knights offensive line. Hmm? Stand no, corrected. Sideline side warning. warning. So the get back coach will be uh, <laughs> in full effect now. Bring up third down and a long two. Third and short, say third and a long two. Lee, Tobin. He'll be short of the first down by Tobin, the ball about a yard. So fourth and one, Stauffer on the stop, and we'll see if the Knights go for it. The way defense has been playing, I wouldn't doubt that they go for it. No, not at all. The run game seems to be working well for them. The Eagles, let's make some noise. Fourth and one at the 32. And they are going to go for it. Tobin. Did he get it? He's across the 31. The ball's across the 31. Depends where they mark it. Now they're going to back it up. It's going to be close. From here, I think he has it. Now they're going to call a timeout for a measurement. He had to hit the 31 for the first down. It, it was very close. I think he has it by about uh, half the length of a football. Let's see. No, it was more than the length of a football. Just about the whole length there. That was a good run by Ben Tobin, and they will take a fresh set of downs. First and 10 for the Knights with a little over five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Lee over center. Pitch to Lane Toman. Cuts inside to the 30, still on his feet. And he'll hit the 28. Flag in the backfield for the Knights, though. This is Toman, the ball carrier. Flag Probably a holding. And that'll back the Knights up. So it'll be first and long. About first and 20 at the 41. 41 yard line. The down remains first. I don't think the Knights have had a pass play yet, have they? They've kept nope. it exclusively on the ground. Hey, it's working, isn't it? Absolutely. But here's the first pass of the night, Lee. Down the sideline, and that should be That's interference, but no call. Jared Walker had it in his arms. Three Grove City, uh, three Grove City players, two safeties, and a cornerback all over him. I agree with you. That should be an interference. Second and long. Second and long. Terry, Jer tell you, Jeremiah put the ball out there fairly nicely. It's good throw. It was right where it needed to be. Ooh. 
4.38 to go. Second and 20 at the 41. Knights break the huddle. Walls is the deep back. Caleb gets it, hits the 40, still moving till about the 38. Caleb Walls, the ball carrier, met at the line. By so it'll be third and we'll say 18. 17. 17. Third and long. Whatever it is, is it is third and long. A loud crowd, I like that. <laughs> Passing situation for the Knights. Then Tobin, wide right. Tobin in the slot right. Lee has his receiver. And that is Jacob Walker pulling the ball down. Nice catch by number so that makes a manageable Walker. fourth down yeah, if they want to go for it. Nice get on the play. At Maybe this point, down and a long seven, you either go for it or you kick a field goal. And again, the way the defense has been playing, why not go for it? Sometimes you got to risk it to get the biscuit. Lee rolling right, looks, throws. Incomplete. Coleman was the intended receiver. And that was broken up nicely by the defensive Brady back, Holt. Brady Holt. And yeah. once again, that pass was exactly where it needed to be. Just great coverage by uh, Grove City. Chefs at Grove City here are burning the uh, halftime food as we see a cloud of smoke go across the 20 yard line. Nice shot of the crowd. Third possession of the night for Grove City Christian. Nate High, the quarterback. Rolling right, throws incomplete. Tended receiver was Alec Poling. Second and 10, 312 to go. First quarter of play. This is baseball weather. This is delightful. <laughs> Everyone's in their short sleeves. It does not feel like it's a October night. No, it's wonderful. And we got the Fairfield County Fair coming up next week. Oh, yes. Can't dunk any better than that. Hi. Looks like Lane Toman there with the stop. Nice field Alec Poling was the receiver. On the play, third down the Loses long. three, and it'll be third and 13 at the 25 yard line. And we have encroachment. Got to know that you got to be aware. The hard count drew FCA offside, and it will be fourth and, or excuse me, third and we'll say eight. High rolling right. Sets, throws. It is incomplete. Ooh. That would have been a nice catch, too. Nice pass intended for number 23, Tristan Taylor. She asked off his finger. Tristan Taylor, the intended receiver. And so, fourth down will bring up a punting situation again for Grove City. Casey Stauffer will be the punter. Stands at his own 18. Good snap. High kick. Fair catch called for. 
35-yard punt for Mr. Stauffer. And Austin Green Number calls for the fair catch. It will be first down for the Knights with 2.10 to go in the first quarter. Knights up 7-0 on LSN. We'll be bringing you Cardinal Division football for the rest of the football season. We'll be following FCA every step of the way, and we'll be able to show you Burn Union, Millersport, Harvest Prep, and the big game at the end of the season, Fisher Catholic. Ben Tobin. Great game. Across the 50 to the 45 yard line. First down, Knights. Ben Tobin is one of those guys you can give the ball and say, here, make something out of this. And he'll do it really easily, too. Couple of good jab steps, and uh, he's got field. Lee over center. Caleb Walls hits the 40, 35, 30, carrying defenders inside the 25. First down, Knights. Caleb Walls, the ball carrier. Trey Roberts on the, the Groundwork is doing extremely well for uh, Fairfield tonight. Tobin hitting the backfield and Tobin, the ball carrier, hits it across the Stauffer. 25. Generously will give him a yard on that. It'll be second Short and nine. Five, second and 105 nine. to go, first quarter of play. Generally, I've noticed that when the Knights get rolling, this and this has been the case this season, when they get rolling, they, they don't stop rolling. It just keeps going. Ben Tobin around left end. Hit and dropped. Ben Looks like they'll mark it at the 27-yard line. Flying in for the tackle. Bring up a third and seven with 33 seconds to go. In a two, third and eight. Clock winding down here on Fairfield. They want to get a play in before the before they run out of time. Lee gives to Caleb Walls. He hit close to the 20. And that will be the end of the first quarter. One quarter in the books for the Mid-State League Cardinal action here tonight. FCA leads Grove City Christian School by a score of 7-0. This is the Mid-State League Game of the Week on LSN. Now in the first quarter of tonight's varsity contest between the Knights and the Eagles. Sam, blocking you in part by. Service Master Clean by Todd Jones. They are proud to be the only Green Seal certified janitorial service in Central High and promise to do the job right or do it over. 740-687-1077. Central Ohio General Surgeons are physicians who have advanced training that allows them to perform invasive procedures for their patients. At Central Ohio General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion. Please feel free to ask any questions at any time. 740-654-6213. Thank them for supporting FMP Sports. This week with Sheriff Dave Phelan on LSN TV, Lancaster Time Warner Cable Channel 9. Great guests and important information on This Week with Sheriff Dave Phelan. Available online at LancasterOhio.tv. Back here at Grove City Christian, FCA with a 7-0 lead. Fourth and long. Lee rolling right, sets his feet, throws long. It is incomplete. Grove City Christian holds. 
with 11.54 to go here in the first half of play. And that was great defense by the cornerback uh, covering Brian Miller right there. Stepping in front of him, not allowing to come back to the ball. See, I'm not used to seeing Brian Miller out on a pass pattern. He's played center for uh, the past three years, and now not, he's... Not to mention that his numbers change. Yeah, his numbers change, too. High on the keeper. <laughs> Cross the 30 to the 34. First down, Grove City. Looks like he dragged Lane to or sorry, Jeremiah Lee for about five yards. Grabbed by number 10, Craig Collins. However, an eight advances the ball to the 35-yard line. Gain of 15, first and 10. 11.38 to go, first half of play. Hit and dropped. And that is number 62, I think, Austin Mosley. I've heard stories from their practices. He carries like three people on his back and takes out anyone that can, just gets in his way. It's Brian Miller in there on the stop as well. Well, he knew that because i got to memorize his number now, 33. 33. There you go. <laughs> Second about 12. Ooh. Jeremiah Lee's got to keep keep his head up. I don't know. I mean, just coming off that concussion recovery, not last week or maybe th two or three weeks ago, he's got to be careful if he wants to uh, stay healthy. The Knights can't afford to lose more, many more uh, players. For Kirk makes it third and one for Grove City. And Newkirk gets the first down. Good stop there by Jeremiah. Jeremiah Lee. by number 17, Colin Blackwell. Oh, my apologies. I guess that was Colin Blackwell. Ball at midfield. That is Stoffer, Stoffer on the carry. Gain of a couple. Be second and eight. Keeps you stop with the ball carrier. Grabbed by Ben Tobin and number 56, Miles Ralph. Say a long seven. Gain of three, second and seven. Newkirk hits the 45 yeah, the and is driven and back carrier. and it'll be third That's and five. And as well, number 55, Josh Heater. Good crowd here at Grove City Christian for this rivalry game between the two schools. No matter what sport you in. Oh, That's Mark. right. First action of the uh, Mid-State League season for both schools. And but you're right. No matter what sport it is, this game always draws a crowd. Robert. Great play there by Austin Green. That, that was a very close, I mean, he dove at his feet, which is good. But if he had missed by just, or even jumped a second sooner or later, he would not have gotten that tackle. So Casey Stouffer will be back in punt formation for Grove City Christian. He'll stand at his own 43-yard line. Knights with no one back deep looking for a fake. And we have a timeout. And that is a delay of game for Grove City Christian. They'll drop five yards back. And now the Knights will drop their two safeties back. Junior Collins and Ben Tobin are back deep. And Austin. Austin Green. Austin Green is up at the 20. Collins and Tobin are back at the 10. Green's been making plays all night. So just so you remember, 
He's number 22. Thank you very much. <laughs> Collins fumbles and Grove City Christian recovers first and 10 at the 11. He's supposed to be a wide receiver. He's got to keep his hands on the ball. You can't muff pumps, muff punts like that. This turnover puts Grove City Christian deep in the Knights' territory. On the 11, Newkirk across the five to the four. Again, a new trick of ball carrier up the middle. Nice gain on the play. Then Tobin in on the tackle. Knights defense definitely having to step up now. This is uh, ball set just inside the five, second down the This four. is the time when they need to play their best the most. Haywood the deep back. Hi. Gives to Josh Whit or Is that Whit Wilhelm? I think so. But he was stuffed by Josh Coleman, so. Third and six. Third down and six. And get a first down inside the one. High. Haywood. Dropped. There's so that'll Mosley bring up uh, fourth down for the uh, Grove City Christian coming up at 7.05 to go. First half of play. And let's see if they'll attempt a field goal. A lot of pink here tonight as the fans have dressed in pink and the players are wearing pink in honor of breast cancer awareness. Nate High will hold. Tristan Taylor with the field goal. With a -yard field goal. And that is a 22 yarder, good. So with 6.35 to go in the first half of play, Knights still lead Grove City Christian by a score of seven to three in the Mid-State League Game of the Week on LSN. And with this break in the action, we would like to remind you that Fairfield Christian Academy presents the Very Merry Christmas Tour with new song, Audio Adrenaline, The Sidewalk Prophets, Jason Castro, and Love in the Outcome on Wednesday, December 11th at 7 o'clock at Fairfield Christian Church in Lancaster, Ohio. More details at itickets.com. Junior Collins and Ben Tobin will be back deep for the Knights, standing at their own 10-yard line. Tristan Taylor, tees Tristan up, Taylor will tee it up at Craig the 40 Collins on the left hash. Collins at the six. Across the 25 to about the 29. First and 10 for the Knights. Mr. Collins on the return. Mr. Stauffer on the tackle. Now we're ready to play. Caleb Waltz to the 40, to the 50, 40. Inside the 40 to about the 38 yard line. First down, Knights. Beautiful run by Caleb. 
That's his third or fourth big run of the night. They're definitely utilizing all these backs and uh, in multiple different ways. Lancaster leaves Gro leads Groveport 7-0. First half of play. Two wide receivers to the left. Lane Toman spins, and he might have gained a yard. Bring up second and nine. Seems the pitches and the, the counters aren't doing as well as the up the gut runs. Lots of, uh, lots of Grove City linebackers and outside linemen able to stop these uh, counters and uh, pitches, but these up the gut runs just seem to stop them every single time. Well, Caleb Wald's up the gut. Except for that one. And he gains two and will bring up third and long. 5.15 to go, first half of play. Knights up 7-3. Caleb Wald scoring up the middle, following block of number 74, Austin Coleman. And of a couple. Third down. This might be four down territory for the Knights, so the same time watching Junior Collins in warm-ups, he hit a uh, a good 45-yarder. So see what they do here, third and long. And we have a timeout for Time FCA. 4:50 to go, first half of play. Knights lead the Eagles 7-3 in the LSN game of the week. And the Mid-State League game of the week is brought to you in part by Help a Child Smile this Christmas. Pack a shoebox with school or hygiene items and small toys and deliver the pack box to Fairfield Christian Academy by November 15th. Packing ideas, labels, and more details are at SamaritanPurse.org. Also, Central Ohio General Surgeons. They are physicians who have advanced training that allows them to perform invasive procedures for their patients. At Central Ohio General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion, so please feel free to ask questions at any time. Central Ohio General Surgeons can be contacted at 740-654-6213. And we thank them for supporting MSL Sports. Knights now head from the sideline to the line of scrimmage. Third and eight at the 36 yard line. Caleb Waltz, the lone setback. Ben Tobin gets it around left end. To about the 31 yard line. Good stiff arm there. Spot at the Eagle 32 yard line. They're going to mark it at four. the 32, fourth and four. Okay, Andrew, you make the call. What do you do here? Go for it. Want to see a wide receiver motion to the to the top side of your screen? Nope, never mind. <laughs> Caleb Walls <laughs> up the first down. That's why you play basketball, right? Well, no, I mean, I just, <laughs> I always, if, if you're sitting on that left hash right there, I would expect you to motion your receiver like they do over to the right side. You play too much John Madden. I think that's what you do. You play too, play too much Madden. You got guys going all over the place. I don't even play that. <laughs> First and 10 for the Knights at the 23-yard line. <laughs> Caleb Waltz still moving across the 20-yard line about the 19. I'll have you know I support football in different ways. I'm I sure painted their practice field today. Good. They, they should be thanking me. <laughs> oh. I may not make the best coach, but I, I, I can do this. Yes, you can. And I enjoy working with you. It, it's always you're a lot of, of fun. You're, you're a lot of fun. That's always good this, to hear. I tell you, high school football, uh, good, cheap entertainment. Oh, always. It's great. High school sports get a chance to support the athletes. Caleb Walsh will be thrown for a loss. 
You hear me a gasp. And I just watched Austin Mosley deck three people. <laughs> he hit the line, he hit the secondary, and then he hit a safety. I'll tell you, that's the strength of the Knights this year is their offensive line. they got a number of players uh, returning. Uh, yeah, Mo Austin Mosley, Joshua Coleman, Austin Coleman, um, Brian Miller, Josh Heater, Matthew Beatty. They have a very good, strong offensive line. And that's really been a strength of the Knights for the past uh, few seasons. Lee rolling right, flushed out of the pocket, throws as he's hit, incomplete. Brian Miller was the intended receiver, so under three minutes to go. I and think I spy a flag. A uh, chop block on the Knights will be declined. And so it'll be fourth and long. That was a that was a problem last year for the Knights. Definitely some difficulties keeping their blocking clean and uh, penalty free. Lee throws quickly, caught! Brian Miller, and that'll be enough for a first down. Brian's excited about that one. Anytime a former lineman can catch a pass for a first down, that's I, a... Uh, I have to say, for, for being a former lineman, he's got hands. He, well, he can you know, hold on to the ball. Brian used to be a catcher for the Knights baseball team. So I he did does not have, know he that. Does, he does have good hands. Brian is a great athlete. And it doesn't surprise me any that he's playing tight end this year. He loves football. He does. He coaches uh, for, I don't, I'm not sure if it's the sixth or seventh or fifth grade, but he coaches one of the, uh, the younger teams. There's Ben Tobin. Four, three, two, one, touchdown, Knights. 11-yard run for Ben Tobin. Beautiful run, good cuts. Just juking out the, uh, the linebackers and the safeties there. Great run. Comes at 2.28 to go in the first half. Junior Collins on for the PI, PAT, and this should make it a 14 to three game if it is good. Ball's down, kick is up, and it is good. Man, that, that was a beautiful PIT there. PIT, yeah, it's a pit, huh? <laughs> so, with uh, 2.28 to go in the first half of play, Knights lead 14-3 here on LSN. And we'd like to remind you that this week with Sheriff Dave Phelan is on LSN TV also. Lancaster Time Warner Channel 9. Great guests and important information on this week with D Sheriff Dave Phelan. It's on Mondays at 11 and 4, Tuesdays at, tw at 12 and 9 on LSN, Lancaster Community TV. Available online at LancasterOhio.tv. Also, Service Master Clean by Todd George. Cleaning services for Fairfield County. They will help you get clean and stay that way. At work and at home, Service Master Clean by Todd George is proud to be a Six Sigma company, demonstrating their commitment to excellence and their promise to get the job, do the job right or do it over again. Service Master Clean by Todd George can be contacted, contacted at 740-687-1077. Back deep for Grove City Christian Trey Roberts. Roberts will stand at his 12-yard line. Junior Collins will tee it up at the 40. Long kick. Roberts will field it at the 5. Squirts loose to the 20, 25, 30. He may go. Nobody's going to catch him. 95 yards on the kickoff return for Trey Roberts. There's the spark for Grow City right there. Now they've got to take this this energy and put it back onto their feet onto the field when they don't get this kind of return. They've got to use this and take it to the Knights if they want to stay if they want to uh, take this game. Great athletic uh, move there by Roberts. He saw that the Middle was plugged up, just bounced it off to the left side and broke contain. And like I said before, they're not known for being slow. They're they are very quick athletes. 
Taylor on for the point after. Ball down, kick is up, and it is good. So 2.11 to go here in the first half. And just like that, it's a 14 to 10 FCA lead on LSN. We'd also like to remind you that Lancaster Perspective with Mike Miller is on LSN TV, Lancaster Time Warner Channel 9. Find perspective on Lancaster businesses, Lancaster events, and Lancaster treasures in a relaxed conversation with Mike Miller. Lancaster Perspective on LSN TV, Lancaster Community TV, available online at LancasterOhio.tv. That kickoff return took 17 seconds. Quite a run. I'm glad it's a close game. I like close games. There's nothing more than the thrill of not knowing who's actually gonna take the last hit, take the last, uh, the last possession, and win the game. Unless it's the team I'm rooting for, then I want to see them blow blow out the opposition. Well, yes, but close games are fun too. Oh, they are. Close <laughs> games are great. A lot of drama. Oh, always. There's the kick. And that is a little squib kick. Covered up, and the Knights have good field position at the 47-yard line. Great awareness by the, uh, the freshman Kyle Mosley to fall on it. So the Knights with 2.09 to go in the first half of play. We'll try to strike quickly here. Their drives have taken up some time tonight. Nothing wrong with that. No, nope. eating the clock can be a good a, thing. This is a two-minute drill for the Knights now. <laughs> Tobin bounces to the left side. 50, 45, 40. Cuts back to the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. It's a flag down. Maybe a block in the back. Might be coming back. Hope. Flag on the play. Saw a, uh, a knight a down on the. Yep, yep. that's. A legal block. The legal ball. block will take it back. That would have been a 53 yard touchdown run for Ben Tobin, but the penalty takes him back. That is a pretty run. It was. It's a shame that something that you need to use often to get them that way can be so. Ineffective at times. Last year they used Ben exclusively as the um, with the fullback, the halfback, what do you call it? I mean, tailback. It was a tailback, and he, he ran really between the tackles and gained a lot of yardage. 2,800 yards on this, the season. This season they're putting him out a little more to try to use his athleticism to get a, uh, around the end. So it'll be a first down for the Knights at the Grove City Christian 42, 158 to go. Fumble. And Lee falls on it. Second down. Not the way you draw it up. Fumble on the snap, covered. Not at all. Unless it's the fumble ruski. <laughs> what? You never heard of fumble ruski? That's I'm afraid play. I haven't. That's a play where the uh, Center snaps it to the quarterback and acts like it's a, a fumble. And then I'm not a technician for a, you know football, but the fumble ruski. If you look it up, that is a play. I think I saw Boston College run it uh, a few years ago, where actually they uh, snapped the ball, put the ball down, and and uh, one of the linemen picked it up and ran for a touchdown. <laughs> oh, that that is great. I remember back when I actually played. It was eighth grade. We came up with a play. Ah, uh, those were the years. Oh yes, it was my only year playing. But we came up with a play. We'd have our starting our starting quarterback. He'd come off the line, and our coach would start yelling at him. And they counted that this would be counted as a motion. And we'd have him snap it just right to our tailback and go right. That and the defense would never expect it. But we never actually ran it. It was a shame. It was a nice play. We just never really found a reason to use it. Second and eight on the 40, 125 to go. Groveport leads Lancaster 14 to seven now. Lee 
Hit and drop. Back to the 45 yard line. This has been the uh, the Achilles heel of the Knights, as as as, as the inspiring the as their yard. offensive line is. They can't do everything right every single time, and when they don't, Jeremiah Lee has inexperience in the quarterback position, and sometimes that leads to detrimental sacks like that one, well, making that's, that's it good third pursuit and twenty-three. By the uh, Grove City Christian defense there. And it was, and I'm not taking any, anything away from Jeremiah. He's a good player and a good quarterback, but, you know. Oh, tripped up was Caleb Walds as he hit the 50. He had daylight there, he too. He had daylight, absolutely. So with 30 seconds to go, bring up fourth down. Clock is still running, which is uh, somewhat surprising. There's a run. As, as Grove City Christian has three timeouts remaining. There goes Ben Tobin. Or is that... Uh, that's not Ben Tobin. Who is that? Is that Caleb Waltz? Yes, that is. And that's the end of the first half. So we have one half in the books. Fairfield Christian leads Grove City Christian in this Mid-State League Cardinal Division battle by a score of 14 to 10. Andrew and I will be back after this. This is Mid-State League football on LSN. Kittle presents the very Merry Christmas Tour featuring new song Audio Adrenaline Sidewalk Profits Jason Castro and special guest Love in the Outcome Share the gift of hope with your family and friends this season and enjoy one of Christian Music's most beloved Christmas songs For my mom Join New Song for the very Merry Christmas Tour, featuring New Song, Audio Adrenaline, Sidewalk Profits, Jason Castro, and Love in the Outcome. The Very Merry Christmas Tour at Fairfield Christian Church in Lancaster, December 11th well, at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. On. Tickets at uh, itickets.com. You know, this year, the... Operation Christmas Child collected and delivered its 100 millionth shoebox gift since 1993. That's a huge number, especially when the gospel goes alongside each box. Just think of all the lives that have been changed over the years. If that's the power of a simple gift, imagine the amazing power of 100 million simple gifts. Did you know if all the children who have gotten shoebox gifts held hands, they would circle the globe twice. If all 100 million shoeboxes were stacked up, they would be 26,000 times taller than the Empire State Building. 100 million is a big number. Let's put it into perspective. 100 million words? You'd have to read the entire Bible over 120 times to read 100 million words. 100 million dollars? That's more than Michael Jordan made playing pro basketball. 100 million is a big number, but it's not just about that. It's about all the children reached for Christ. There are still billions of children living in need of hope and in need of a savior. 100 million shoebox gifts is a giant number, but billions of unreached children are waiting. So get involved with Operation Christmas Child. Back here at Grove City Christian School, halftime. It's FCA leading Grove City Christian by a score of 14 to 10. Hi again, everybody. Jack Davidson along with 
Lisa Howard, the athletic director for Grove City Christian. Lisa, welcome. Thank you for having me. How long have you been an athletic director here? Uh, this is my fourth season as the athletic director. I've been, I was the assistant for three years prior to that, so all in total, about seven years here at Grove City Christian. Okay, do you teach here too? Nope, I'm just the athletic director. Just the athletic director. Okay, yeah. how's the um, uh, athletic season here in the fall going for Grove City Christian? How's the football team doing? We're doing well. We are building every every week and learning and just continuing to grow. And are, I'm very proud of the boys and what they're, you know, the hard work that they're putting in every week and every practice. They worked really hard this off season and they're ready to play. And we're very happy with what they're doing. So, do you offer any other fall sports for the athletes here at Grove City? If so, what what do you offer? Um, we have volleyball, soccer, golf, cross country, cheerleading, football. Um, you know, our kids are just about doing everything that they possibly can. We have kids in our marching band that play in, you know, sports during the fall as well. Um, right now we have our golf team has done extremely well. We have one um, golfer, he's a senior, Cameron Mahalik. He is um, a state qualifier. He's going to state next week, um, Friday and Saturday. He'll be compete, will be competing. He won. Um, districts and was the medalist for districts and so we're very proud of him he's doing a great job Lisa what's the attitude here at Grove City Christian because uh, you know, FCA getting into a conference for the first time they're really excited and imagine Grove City Christian's excited too how's the student body reacted well, we're, you know, we're very excited about joining the Mid-State League. Um, this has just been a great opportunity for us. We knew going in it was going to be a tough battle for us, you know, jumping from a, a Christian League into a really tough schedule. And so we're very proud of our kids for um, stepping into this role and doing what they need to get it done. And our coaches have done the same thing. We've covered FCA for a number of years here on the Lancaster, Lancaster School Network. And the neat thing about going into the Mid-State League, the Cardinal Division, is that Grove City Christian is is uh, part of the the conference and yes. the it's a great rivalry yes, and it is. that continues mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about the rivalry FCA and Grove City Christian it's just a really neat um, atmosphere that we get to experience here here at Grove City Christian and as well at Fairfield Christian we're excited that we get to continue that rivalry um, and you can look in our stands right now how packed it is and what how important it is our kids are look forward to this game every season um, it's usually the last game of the season this year because of the say it's a little earlier but it's still a great rivalry and we're you know very excited to continue to the, this game um, and the matchup with Fairfield Christian. For FCA their last game of the season will be against their in-county rival uh, Fisher Catholic mm -hmm. so it's nice to kick off the season with the uh, old uh, Mocal rival right exactly. and we end now with the Fairfield County rival. Lisa Howard with us at halftime we'll be back with second half after this Miss State League game of the week on LSN. Share the gift of hope with your family and friends this season and enjoy one of Christian music's most beloved Christmas songs. Join New Song for the very Merry Christmas Tour featuring New Song, Audio Adrenaline, Sidewalk Prophets, Jason Castro, and Love in the Outcome. The Very Merry Christmas Tour at Fairfield Christian Church in Lancaster, December 11th at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. Tickets at itickets.com. So, Andrew, what? Uh, give me your impressions of the first half here. Uh, I know, a loaded question, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it all, <laughs> it all, uh, it definitely all depends on your perspective. On the one hand, the Knights' offense is doing incredibly well, and their defense is definitely doing what they need the special teams is the problem Grove City has scored off of a field goal from a uh, from a muffed punt and a 95 yard kickoff return for a touchdown that is all they have done in in terms of scoring no no offensive bursts no defensive uh, defensive uh, in, in defensive uh, I don't even know plays that uh, of excellence and if they want to stay in this ballgame, both of those aspects have to be taken up a notch and utilized to their fullest potential. So what you mean to say is that FCA has had the uh, better of play throughout the first half. If it wasn't for a muffed punt down at uh, uh, deep in FCA territory and that 95-yard kickoff return, FCA would be in control. They would. Thank you very much. It's 14-13. Harvest prep over... Fisher Catholic at the half. 
So we have Grove City Christian kicking off. Tristan Taylor tee it up at the 40. Back deep for FCA will be Junior Collins and Ben Tobin. Tristan Taylor tees it up for GCC. Mr. Collins and Mr. Tobin back to receive for the Knights. Here we go. 12 on the clock and the ball falls off the tee. That was anticlimactic. Well, there's still 12 on the clock. We were right on that. Hell yes. Here we go. That ball will go deep and be a touchback. FCA will start at their own 20. Touchback for the Eagles. Jeremiah Lee leads the offense out. FCA has controlled the running game. Next Caleb Walds and Ben T Tobin have had good first halves. Caleb Walls had a five-yard touchdown run with 8.23 to go in the uh, first quarter of play. In the second quarter, Tobin had an 11-yard touchdown run. Tobin had a 53-yard touchdown run called back at the end of the first half. There goes Walls up across the 30 to the 32. Mr. Walls, the ball carrier, grabbed by Taylor. Walls has been a solid uh, tailback for the Knights this year. Up to the 32 yard line. A couple of uh, several very good runs here tonight. First and ten at the 32. Gain of 12. Tobin around left end. Hit and drop shy of the 35. Coming up in support there was Nate Hyde, also Holt. Brady Holt, yeah, on the stop for Grove nine. City Christian. Thanks to Lisa Howard, the Grove City Christian Athletic Director, who joined us at halftime. Told her that uh, you can watch these games at fairfieldmedia.tv, also on LSN on Sundays at four o'clock. Caleb Walds, across the 35 to about the 37. Caleb Waltz on the carry, grabbed immediately by Brady Holt. Nice gain on the play, third and four. Be third and four, they'll mark it at the 38. If they're gonna run it, they're gonna hit Ben Tobin or Lane, T Ben Tobin or Lane Toman. Walls just exited the, uh, the field, or well, he went to the sidelines. <laughs> There's Tobin. Hits the 42, and that should be enough for a first down. Depends where they mark it. Looks like the linesman will put it at the 32. And he motions the sticks to move forward. So it'll be first and 10 for the Knights. Then fights his way forward. Once again, they got a good drive going here. I said it earlier in the game. When the Knights get rolling, they don't tend to stop rolling. It just kind of keeps piling on, and the, the good drives keep flowing for them. Tobin might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Then Tobin on the carry, grabbed by Adam Blake. And Give him a rest. yard on the play, and it'll be second and nine. Mark it at the 42. Second and 10. Fumble. Looks like Jeremiah Lee fell on it. That's the second fumble fumbled snap for FCA. If it keeps Lee, going this way, eventually there's going to be one where Grove City recovers and we're not lucky. Or, well, Fairfield's not lucky, I should say. Loss of about a half a yard. Third and a long nine. 
Got a new cameraman on the sideline there giving you that shot. That's JT. Well, <laughs> he's new to the camera. I don't know about new to the game. <laughs> And I do believe that's his shot right there. Well, it, it was. Yeah. You always got to give the new guy grief. You see? Oh, yes. That's what, that's what oh, yes. So with this timeout on the field, we'd like to remind you about Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson. They've served Lancaster, the Lancaster area for over 30 years, and they are located at 1400 Concordia Drive in Lancaster with Sunday service at 1015. Redeemer Lutheran Church is online at RedeemerLancaster.org. It's a nice facility out here at Grove City Christian. Behind us, they have a uh, beautiful softball field, baseball field. It is definitely a nice area. The field's all turf. I know FCA envisions something like this in the future. I was talking to uh, one of our, uh, one of the people who would would be working on that, uh, Todd Stevens, and he said that the steps will be made in the next one to two years to start uh, the uh, the oh. building of a field. Great. Presently, FCA plays their home games out at New Lex. There's Lane Toman, hits the 40, and driven back. He might have lost a yard. Lane Toman, the ball carrier, Nate Hyde. There was a missed late hit, Mitchell, or at least a late hit that was not called. We fourth down and long for the Fourth night. and long for the Knights. Back to punt. I do believe this is the first time that FCA has had to punt. punt. Yep, and that's Lane Toman. Standing at his own 29. Just snap, line drive kick. Gets a great FCA bounce inside to 20, to the 15, they'll let it roll to about the 11. Downed there by Jeremiah Lee. Jeremiah Lee the ball. And the Grove City Eagle Christian Eagle. will start deep in their own territory with 7.47 to go here in the third quarter. Yard kick credited. A credit to Mr. Tolman with a 47-yard punt. First and 10 from their own 12. Wasn't pretty, but it was effective. To uh, use, use a basketball term, doesn't really matter what the shot looks like as long as it goes in. That's right. You don't get style points. Nope. You get results, and that was a good that was a good punt. High on the keeper brought down by Tobin and Tobin. Tobin and Tobin. Sounds like a, a law firm. <laughs> it does. Got the cameraman up here for the uh, teams. They're, they're moving five, left and right. And we can just drive them nuts by moving back and forth. They're not in our way, but they think they are. Ball carrier there was Jordan Haywood. With the ball carrier, tackle made. Bring up third and short. Looks like third and a long two, maybe third and three. Ball marked at the 20. They have to go over the 22. High with the keeper. And I think he got it. Hey, hey, the ball carrier. Grab once again by Move the chains. Five. It's a good Joshua effort Heater. by Joshua Heater. Shoot into, uh, into the backfield pretty quick. If had been there a second earlier, it would not have been a first down. Left end that looked to be uh, direct snap to Trey Roberts. Trey Roberts, Number 75, Brian Matthew Beatty on the tackle. I'll tell you, those dark blue numbers on the black back Being of the six, black jerseys are tough to see. Yeah, but they're outlined in white, which helps a little I bit. I know, but I'm talking about 57 year old eyes. 
the moms and grandmas and grandpas would understand what I'm talking about here. Oh, I, I know. I do not have perfect vision at all. Without my contacts and glasses, I can't see three feet in front of me. And we have a penalty. Probably a false start. Nope. Nope. 0 for 2 tonight. I, I don't know what that was. What was that? The we'll wait because the PA announcer is trying to look it up too. He doesn't know. <laughs> uh, that ball, illegal substitution. Illegal substitution. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> too many men in the, in, the, in the huddle. All right. See, if we had better vision, we could have seen that. Well, I saw the call. I just didn't know what it was. Direct snap to Roberts. He's going to reverse his direction here. Still on his feet. 45, 50. He's going to cut back. He's still going. Down to the 10. That was, I mean, early on in that play, as it was developing, the defense was incredible. It seemed like they were incredibly confused, not really sure what was going on. Well, but there, as was the play legal, there was a legal block at the 40. Oh, the I know. They missed the holding and an illegal block. But I'm trying to ignore that. And then we had at least three guys in front of that runner as he was coming up the sidelines who didn't turn around to hit him. I, I don't know what that was. And that's what caused the illegal block there that was missed. Nate High down to the six. Nate High, the ball carrier, Ben Tubman with the initial grab. Assist on the tackle by Jeremiah Lee. Five minutes to go, third quarter of play. Ball set down at the six yard line, gain of four. Second and goal from the Second six. Second and goal at the six. We're advice. If Grove City Christian scores here, take your headphones off because the PA announcer is going to blow an eardrum for you. <laughs> I know. That play went nowhere, so they'll bring up third and goal. But if the nice defense keeps doing what they do, we might have to, not have to take these yeah, headphones off. The law firm of Tolman and Tobin <laughs> came up with the uh, stop there. I, I have to say that is a really catchy, the catchy group well, there. Third and seven. Third I, I can envision that actually becoming a legitimate law firm. Or you could, you know what? You could do it for your FCA uh, news in the morning. Oh, we've got that covered already. High, throw sh low. 4.02 to go. And let's see, is this going to be a field goal situation or I, will they go for it? I think they're going to go for it. Right now, they need the offensive uh, boost here. Well, field goal will put them within one. And uh, I think they, well, will they go for a field goal? They're going to call a timeout. Looks timeout, like Grove it. City Christian timeout with 4.02 to go, third quarter of play. 14-10, FCA leads on the Mid-State League Game of the Week on LSN. like to remind you that Road to Recovery with the Fairfield County Recovery Center is on LSN TV, Lancaster Time Warner Channel 9. This weekly show about drug addiction recovery is hosted by Steve Rao and Trisha Farrar. Farrar. Road to Recovery is on Mondays at 11.15 and 4.15, Tuesdays at 12.15 and 9.15 on LSN Lancaster Community TV. It is available online at LancasterOhio.tv. Also, the Yard but Okay, I've messed up with this twice. Let's get it right. The Yard Butler Lawn and Landscape Services. They are proud to serve Central Ohio communities with a full array of services designed to enhance any landscape. The Yard Butler is scheduling fall cleanups with affordable packages at 740. They can be contacted at 740-808-2580 or online at ohioyardbutler.com. See, you will learn that if you do any amount of talking... Goal from the seven. You will say something wrong at some point. Oh, in time, oh so I, I have said something not, wrong several times. You're not hearing anything from me, brother. I've been there before. Fourth and goal. High throws long, deep into the end zone to nobody in particular. And turnover on downs gives the ball to FCA. I really have no idea where that ball was going. Well, he had a receiver back in the corner of well, the end yeah, zone. Well, yeah, I saw that, but, but he overthrew uh, him by a good 5, 10 feet. I mean, there's no Yao Ming out there on the field. I don't know who could have grabbed that. 
Knights take over on downs. See what they do here, first and 10 at the seven. They need one of these long runs by Waltz or Tobin. There's Caleb Waltz over the 10 to about the 11. Good first down gain for Caleb. Well, if they were to throw it, I suppose that keeps Jeremiah Lee out of the end zone for the most part. Ball at the 11. Second and six. Austin Beigel out wide to the right. Tobin to the 19 yard line. First down, Knights. Good run up the gut. The offensive line for the Knights is doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Opening holes for their tailbacks. Well, we'll see if this uh, passing up the field goal for Grove City Christian comes down to haunt them. 14-10 Knights late in the third quarter. Ben Tobin, I believe, on the carry. You're correct. Ben Tobin, the ball carrier. Brady Holt with the initial grab. Tell you, there's nothing Eight like four, small six. school football. No, not at all. Because everyone, you know, you got to play both ends of the ball, both sides of the ball. That is just outstanding. I think that's the way fo football was meant to be played. It it's is. It's Iron Man football. And the true talent shows. Pitch to Lane Toman to the 23. I got back the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up third and six. Like I said, the pitches and the counters don't seem to be doing too much for the Knights. Well, sometimes they do these, uh, you know, they, they uh, run these plays to loosen the uh, defense up too. Spread them out a little bit, maybe uh, hit them with a quick uh, run up the middle. Tobin, 30, 35, 40, 45, first down Knights. Three Grove City linebackers and safeties were <laughs> pushing him in the back, hoping he'd fall down, but basically giving him an extra burst there, pushing him across midfield. So the Knights have been here deep but before. Let's see if they capitalize on this drive. Started at their own seven. Tobin hits the 42. Mr. Tobin tripped up by Nate High. Gain of two, we'll Tobin. say second, second and eight. eight. That's Nate High going low and taking out Tobin at his feet. Caleb Walls will be driven back. Might have lost a yard on that. It'll bring up third and long. He'll give us forward part progress to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and eight with 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Probably be the last play of the quarter right here. They could let the play clock run down and the game clock run down, and it looks like that is what they will do. After the end of three, FCA leads Grove City Christian 14 to 10. This is Miss State League Game of the Week on LSN. MSL on LSN, brought to you in part by Service Master Clean by Todd George. They are proud to be the only Green Seal certified janitorial service in Central Ohio and promise to do the job right or do it over. 
Central Ohio General Surgeons are physicians who have advanced training that allows them to perform invasive procedures for their patients. At Central Ohio General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion. Please feel free to ask any questions at any time. 740-654-6213. Thank them for supporting FMP Sports. This week with Sheriff Dave Phelan on LSN TV, Lancaster Time Warner Cable Channel 9. Great guests and important information on This Week with Sheriff Dave Phelan. Available online at LancasterOhio.tv. Start of the fourth quarter, 14-10. Knights up over Grove City Christian with the ball. FCA driving. They started this drive at their own seven, along with Andrew Gherkin, Jack Davidson. General Ben Tobin across the 40-yard line. And they'll bring up fourth and maybe four. Hmm. And we have a player down for Grove City Christian. Last year we saw another injury, but over at New Lex we had a, uh, a specific play. Tailback coming up the middle and loss of con condensation with the players. And we came away and... A Grove City player down on the floor, but uh, what seemed to be just maybe some cramps or a small leg injury, but it was a lot worse than that. From what I heard, I don't uh, actually know what was uh, the problem, but I heard it was fairly, fairly severe. Trey Roberts down. Looks like he's cramping as they're trying to stretch him out. Liberty Union leads Hamilton Township 13 to six at halftime. Liberty Union is undefeated this season. We saw Hamilton Township last week, and they were an impressive football team. They were, um, but to be fair, I mean, Amanda didn't didn't step up at defensively as much as they could have. But Hamilton Township does have a strong team this year. I have to uh, I have to give it to them. It's fourteen to ten here. Eleven fifty to go in the ball game. FCA opened the scoring. Caleb Walds. Ran for a five-yard touchdown run at the 823 mark of the first quarter. Junior Collins with the point after, and it was 7-0 FCA. Grove City Christian got on the board at the 635 mark of the first quarter. 22-yard field goal by Tristan Taylor. FCA in the second quarter made it 14-3. to on 11 yard run by Ben Tobin. Collins with the point after, and that was uh, nice good. Trey and then 17 seconds later, this is just a cramp. Trey Roberts traveled 95 yards with a kickoff return. Taylor had the point after, and that's where we stand with 11.50 to go in the ball game. FCA leads 14 to 10. Over at Fairfield Union, they are losing to Circleville 34 to 20 in the third quarter, I believe. So a lot closer of the game than uh, most people would have expected, I believe. Fourth, and we'll say five at the 39. Tolman with the punt. We'll take an FCA bounce inside the 10 and downed there by Austin Beigel. Number 16, Austin Beigel will down the ball. 11.35 to go, and Grove City Christian now will start deep in their territory. GCC will start from their own eight yard line. This has been a different FCA Grove City Christian game because usually they're two heavyweights that will score back and forth. It's almost like watching arena football. Case in point, last year FCA beat Grove City Christian 54-47. That was a game to watch. Across the 10-yard line Nate is Nate Nate High. High. Grabbed by Lane Thoman. About the 11. This is the tackle by Joshua Coleman. It'll be second and seven. Gain of three, second and seven. Jordan Haywood, the deep back. High keeps it. Cross right guard. 
hits the 20 yard line and he'll move the chains. It's a good run. Nate High is very, very stable on his feet and very quick. Able to make the uh, the cuts up the field very, very quickly and very effectively. Give to Haywood. Going to reverse his field. Hit and drop. Ball fumbled. Haywood recovers at the two. I thought he was down at the five. I, I thought he was too, honestly, but ball might have hit his knee and popped out. And this this gives Grove City oh horrible just field position. Horrible. Now, now they've got to make every effort to get out of their end zone because if they get hit behind that line, that's a safety and two points up for the Knights, and they get the ball. Third, uh, second and 28 at their two. Got to be careful here. High, cross left guard. It's about the five. Bring up third and long. Behind the ball carrier, Brian Miller on the tackle. Gain of three, third down and long. Rain Toman trying to fire up the troops defensively, as is Brian Miller. The defensive stand would be quite a turn for the Knights, putting up their first points here in the second half, or the fourth quarter. High in his end zone. Throws, it is incomplete. If he had waited probably another second or two, he would have been uh, hit in the behind, uh, hit, uh, Hit in the back by Josh Coleman there. Aaron Whitaker was the intended receiver. Casey Stauffer will now punt the ball away from his own end zone. FCA should get the ball in good field position. Great field position. Stauffer about six yards deep. High snap, gets the ball away. High driving kick. Collins breaks a tackle, 35, 30, 25, 20 yard line. First down, Knights. Talk Great about good position. Good, position. Good, okay. good field position. Uh, I can't speak today. I'm not, I'm not doing so hot. Kyler Hunt with a tackle. Probably smelling those brats on the grill. Oh, I don't like brats. I am not a brat fan. First and ten for the Knights. Tobin. Off left guard and tackle. It's about the 17. Second down. Kind of sandwich tackled there. Got hit from both sides. Now Topin will Tackle head to the sideline. Number 22, Will Winham and Brady Holt, number 27. Game of three, second and seven. Caleb Walls, the 15 inside the 15, fumble. Grove City Christian says they have it. Mr. Walls up the middle, fumble on the play. Third down, Knights recovered. Recovered by Fairfield Christian. Walls was Looks like nailed uh, by that. Austin Coleman might have felt fallen on the football. But uh, Caleb Walls was just nailed coming through that gap. <laughs> Someone shed their blocker very well. Ball spotted at the 15-yard line. 
Third down and five at the 15. Tobin to the 10, first down and goal for the Knights inside the nine. Put the tail on the ball carrier. Advance the ball inside the 10, mark it at the eight, eight and a half. First and goal for the Knights. Tobin might have gained a yard. Bring up second Mr. down. Tobin, the ball carrier, Mr. High, Mr. Stolfer on the tackle. Gain of a yard and a half. Ball spotted at the Eagle Eight. Second down, Eagle. Tobin, five, three, two, one, touchdown, Knights. The you missed four in that countdown. You, you missed four in your countdown there. <laughs> well, he ran so fast. Four just kind of became obsolete. Uh, good run. Eight-yard touchdown run for Ben Tobin. Junior Collins with the point after. And we have, now we're gonna was an a set what was an official timeout. There's a snap, ball down, kick is up, and it is good. Timeout on the field with 6.45 to go in the ball game. Knights lead by 11 on LSN. And MSL on LSN is brought to you in part by Central Ohio General Surgeons. They are physicians who have advanced training that allows them to perform invasive procedures for their patients. At Central Ohio General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion, so please feel free to ask questions at any time. Central Ohio General Surgeons can be contacted at 740-654-6213, and we thank them for supporting MSL Sports. Also, Service Master Clean by Todd George, cleaning services for Fairfield County. They will help you get clean and stay that way, and at work and at home. Service Master Clean by Todd George is proud to be a Six Sigma company, demonstrating their commitment to excellence and their promise to do the job right or do it over. Service Master Clean by Todd George can be contacted at 740-687-1077. It's 34-0 Burn Union over Millersport. Gales lead Groveport 20-14. Amanda Clear Creek up, 14-7. Now who's Amanda playing? Oh, you asked me too quick. <laughs> Taze Valley. Amanda Clear Creek play, playing Taze Valley. Mr. Collins' kick goes out of bounds. Flag on the play. So Grove City Christian will get the ball in good field position. As they'll start the at, at the 35 their 35. First Here's where not going for that field goal hurts Grove City because if they went for the field goal and made it, this would be an eight-point uh, eight ball game. At least a one-possession ball game. Yes. Now it's two, and now there's two. 6.45 left on the clock. If you're a Knights fan, it's good. You're in a good, good shape here. The defense has played rather well tonight. Trey Roberts slips and falls Trey the 38-yard line. Slips down. Gain of four on the play, second and six. Last time he did that, he took a direct snap and rumbled some 75 yards inside the 10. But that was the drive that was stalled and Grove City Christian turned it over on downs. Now Roberts with the direct snap over left end. 45, 50. 
And they're going to mark it at the right at the 50, I believe. No, at the 49. So they break Knight's territory there with that run. That's at the Knight's 49, not the Eagles' 51. Unless we're playing in Canada. What? Canada. They, they have a they have a 55 yard or they have a 50, 55 yards to. Uh, oh, there's a touchdown pass. Well, that was quick. Yeah. That, that was a good pass. That was an that amazing was a pass. 49 yard touchdown pass. Tristan Taylor or is that Brady Holt? That was Tristan. That was Tristan Taylor. Beautiful throw, and that was exactly where it needed to be. Defended well by the Knights, too. I mean, you just couldn't you just couldn't get his hand on it. The quarterback so, did not jump enough. Now here's a uh, they're gonna go for one. They actually need two. There's the ball down, kick is up, and it is good. So it's 21 17. Grove City Christian down by four. I said they need two because if they would have went for two and made it, it would have been a three point field goal game. There's always the option of an onside kick. Yes, there is. And there's still plenty of time left, too. So 5.55 to go in the ball game. FCA leads 21 17. Just surprised that they went for the. Uh, one point instead of two. There's no guarantee that they would have gotten the two-point conversion, and the Knights' defense is doing incredibly well tonight. So why? I mean, don't risk it right now unless you have to. You still got time. You can always onside kick it if you want to, but. With 65 yards, the final 49. Mr. Roberts to Mr. Taylor. Tristan with the point after. 21-17. Hang on to your seat. Taylor tees it up at the 40. Collins and Tobin deep and ball fall off the tee again. Uh, yes, it did. <laughs> oh man. See, that's the equivalent of the basketball sticking between the rim and the backboard. Oh, yes, definitely. And that's always fun. Or the ball getting caught in the catcher's mask. Now that I have never seen. And that ball go out of bounds, and the Knights will get it in good field position at the 35. Of course, I'm, I'm not a big enough baseball fan to ever see that happen. Legal procedure against GCC. The Knights will take over from their own 35 yard line. So, 5.55 to go in the ball game. This is a defining moment for the Knights and their offensive side of the ball. Ben Tobin up the gut. Gain of four, be second and six. Brady Holt and Josiah Pasovich on the tackle of Ben Tobin. Knights have always capitalized Gain on their solid ground game six. that they've had for quite a few years now. Ben Tobin will make it third and short. I absolutely love watching Ben Tobin run the ball. There's no other spitting image than of perseverance than him. Fighting for every single yard he gets. And last year, got up 2,800 of them. Third and a long one. Tobin gets it and more. Across the 50 to the 49. 
Now Austin Mosley's going to have to step off the field. He lost his helmet. He will have to uh, head to the sidelines and wait at least one play before he can come back in. I do believe that is freshman Matt Tobin taking his place. Four twenty-five to go in the ball game. Caleb Walls up the middle. Good first down gain. Bring up second and short. Advancing the ball to the Eagle 42 yard line. Gain of seven. Second and three. Knights want to take it easy, just run some time off the clock. Grove City looking for them to uh, drop the ball again, maybe fumble it. Tobin gets to the 40, and they'll bring up third and short. Just Tobin, the ball carrier, Adam Blake and Kyler Hunt on the tackle. Ball third and one. 40 yard line, third down and a long yard. They might just give it to uh, Ben Tobin again and let him uh, bull his way across the line of scrimmage for a first down. That's what I would do, and that's what you would do, but that may not be what Coach Queen wants to do. It is. And he's close to a first down. I think he got it. The extension there. He had to get to the 39, and they're going to mark him short. And they're going to call a timeout for, an, for a measurement. Timeout by the officials for a measurement. If they're marking him just short of that, I don't know. I think he's probably about uh, six inches to a foot short. Stretch the chains. Oh, yeah. He's way short. And that's about foot. Fourth and inches. Good eye. It's called binoculars. Touche. Touche. No, I think these are Bushnell, but that's beside the point. <laughs> They're still binoculars. Yes. <laughs> Key play of the game here for the Knights. This probably will determine the rest of the game. Caleb Walls with the first down. It's the 38. They move the chains. Knights keep the ball with 243 to go in the ball game. Advancing the ball near the 38 yard line. That will move the chains. First and 10, Fairfield Christian Academy. What a nice one two punch the Knights have with Waltz and uh, Ben Tobin. And then Lane Toman there on the, uh, as a wing back. Mm hmm. It, it, they, they've established their ground game very well. Tobin hit, driven back. Might have gotten back in the line of scrimmage. He'll bring up second and long. Nope, they'll mark him just a yard short of the line of scrimmage. Gap shot by Nate High. Second and 11. Ball marked at the 30. Loss of a yard, second and 11. Yard line. This is the first Mid-State League Cardinal game for both teams. Now we have a timeout. Timeout, Fairfield Christian. And FCA takes the timeout with 1.41 to go in the game. They lead by four in the Mid-State League game of the week on LSN. As, as, as I was saying, this is the first uh, conference matchup, Mid-State League for both teams. And what a sweet win it would be for uh, FCA to go up over their rival and win this thing to be 1-0 in the conference. Do you know where we're going to be next week? <sighs> I'm not sure if we're at New Lex or not. I think we Home are. Home game? Yes, I think we are. 
Why don't you, uh, we get a chance here, why don't we thank uh, the crew who's with us tonight? Well, on our sideline cams, we have Mr. Caleb Yount and the ever, uh, ever astounding JT Burcham. Yeah, watch what you say there now. <laughs> He's giving you a grade for this. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Up here with us on the rooftop of the booth, we have Scott West on our overhead cam. In the trailer, we got Connor Daughtery on uh, graphics and David Spear, Dave Spear, my apologies, on Switcher. We thank them always for supporting MSL Sports. Second and long. Tobin ducks and runs to the 30, close to the first down. Driven out of bounds. Tobin around left end. Short of the 29-yard line. That's a good defense eff defensive effort to drive him out of bounds. He made him gain a good chunk of yards, but that stops the clock and prevents them from uh, eating it up after keeping it on the ground. Third down on the yard. 135 to go. Clock is stopped. The Knights got the ball about five minutes ago. They've been chewing up time and yardage ever since. They've been chewing up time on that clock since they started the game. Tobin, first down and more. Time out to move the chains. The middle. Move the chain. 91 seconds to go in the ball game. They're gonna start the clock. Unless something crazy happens here, I do believe the Knights are gonna go ahead and take this one. I'm somewhat surprised Grove City Christian has not taken a timeout. They have two left. Tobin hit. He's still moving. And now they're going to call the timeout. Timeout with 55.3 seconds to go. In the ball game, FCA with a four point lead on LSN. MSL on LSN is brought to you in part by Lancaster Perspective with Mike Miller on LSN TV, Lancaster Time Warner Channel 9. Find perspective on Lancaster business, Lancaster events, and Lancaster treasures in a relaxed, casual conversation with Mike Miller, Lancaster's Perspective on LSN. Lancaster Community TV is available online at LancasterOhio.tv. Also, Fairfield Christian Academy presents the Very Merry Christmas Tour with new song, Audio Adrenaline, The Sidewalk Prophets, Jason Castro, and Love in the Outcome on Wednesday, December 11th at 7 at Fairfield Christian Church in Lancaster, Ohio. There's more details on itickets.com. That just doesn't seem possible that we're doing Christmas advertisements now, you know? It's 80 degrees today. Hey, they start Christmas music before uh, Thanksgiving, know. so, you know. I uh, know. It's like the day after Halloween, you'll hear, we wish you a Merry Christmas on the radio. Then Tobin cuts up, across the 15-yard line. And may mark him right at the 15. It's going to be close to a first down. And Tobin, the ball carrier. And it and is a first down. 15. Clock is moving with 45 seconds to go. Now Grove City Christian takes a timeout with 35.2 seconds to go. They might add a little more time on the clock. Oh, timeout FCA. Now that is a strange tactic indeed. Well, 35.2 seconds to go. FCA takes this timeout. They lead by four, 21-17 on the Mid-State League Game of the Week on LSN. Once, it, Once again, we want to thank those people who uh, help us. Yeah, on, the, on our cameras, we have Caleb Yount, JT Burcham, Scott West. Under the hood of the trailer, we have uh, Connor Daughtery and Dave Spear. And we thank them always for uh, supporting MSL Sports. Pardon me for interrupting. Now you may proceed. Oh, no interruption at all. <laughs> you can watch this game and all games that we televise on fearfieldmedia.tv. Also, the LSN Game of the Week, Sundays at 4. Knights in the victory formation here. 
with 38.5 seconds to go. They snap it, take a knee. Clock is running. Snap and a knee. And Grove City Christian waves the white flag. Folks from Lancaster and Fairfield County giving the Knights a standing ovation here with 10 seconds to go. Looks like they're not going to run another play. And that will do it. Final scores, FCA goes to 1-0 in the Cardinal Division of the Mid-State League. It's FCA 21, Grove City Christian 17. For Andrew Gherkin, this is Jack Davis, and thanking you for watching the FCA, FCA on LSN, the Mid-State League Game of the Week. We'll see you next week. Have a good night, everybody. in the outcome like Christmas. share the gift of hope with your family and friends this season and enjoy one of Christian music's most beloved Christmas songs join new song for the very Merry Christmas tour featuring new song audio adrenaline sidewalk profits Jason Castro and love in the outcome the Very Merry Christmas Tour at Fairfield Christian Church in Lancaster, December 11th at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. Tickets at itickets.com.